everyone, I am Tanya. Welcome to Infinity Learn Neat by Sri Chaitanya. So today, we will be understanding about the human respiratory system with again another crazy animation. Because it's been said that when you visualize something, it's always easier to remember and understand those things. So I'm going to help you out understanding in the most easiest and in the most interesting way about the human respiratory system with the help of certain crazy animations. So, let's get started. Alright, so in the screen in front of you, you can see the human respiratory system, right? Now, the part that is highlighted is the thoracic region, which is majorly involved in the respiration when it comes to human beings. Now, the part that is being highlighted is the dome-shaped muscle, which is known as the diaphragm that is present below the thoracic region over here and it also protects the respiratory system in a certain way. Now, if you look at the inhalation and exhalation that is happening. So basically, respiration and breathing are two different things over here. If you look at this thoracic region over here, so yes, there are lungs, there are ribs and when I talk about the lungs, lungs are the major respiratory organ when it comes to human respiratory system, right? When I talk about lungs, lungs have the presence of these balloon-like structures which are known as the alveolar sacs. It consists of small balloon-like structures which are the alveoli. Alveoli is the main part of the lungs where the actual exchange of gases takes place, right? Now, if I talk about the gas exchange, so here oxygen comes in, which is me, which means that oxygen is being, being inhaled and carbon dioxide is being exhaled. So that's what actual exchange of gases means, which takes place with the help of alveoli. Now, when the oxygen is being inhaled, it is utilized by the tissues and the transportation of these gases takes place with the help of the blood and when we talk about the red blood cells, so it consists of oxyhemoglobin because when oxygen is present inside the blood, so it becomes the oxygenated blood. Hence, the oxygen is being utilized with the help of blood by the tissues in order to utilize the energy. All right then, so I hope that after watching such amazing animation, you are pretty sure and pretty sorted with the entire topic. Now, if I relate that animation and that explanation with this particular diagram, so it will be easier for you to understand. If you look at this diagrammatic representation, you can clearly see that the respiratory tract in the human system, it is divided into two tracts. There is one upper respiratory tract and then there is one lower respiratory tract, right? Inside the category of upper respiratory tract, we have nasal cavity, pharynx and the larynx, correct? Whereas if I talk about the lower respiratory tract, it includes trachea, primary bronchi and ultimately the lungs. Technically, primary bronchi will further get divided into secondary bronchi, then tertiary bronchi, then bronchioles and ultimately when we talk about the lungs, so here the actual exchange of gases takes place with the help of alveoli, right? Apart from alveoli, if I talk about the other parts included in the respiratory tract, they actually help for the transportation of the gas. But if I talk about the actual exchange of the gases, so that actual exchange of gases takes place in the alveoli, right? So that was it about this particular topic. Now that you have understood this topic so nicely, I am pretty sure that you will be able to answer this question for me, right? So you have to tell me, that lungs are supported by a dome-shaped muscle. Which among the following is that dome-shaped muscle? Is it perio periosteum or perichondrium, diaphragm or the intercostal muscle? So I will be waiting for your answers in the comment section below. All right, so I hope that this was pretty helpful to you because this animation was the easiest explanation that anybody could give about the exchange of gases, also about the breathing over here. And if you understood the topic pretty well, do not forget to give me the answer in the comment section about the question that I asked. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do not forget to do it along with pressing the bell icon so that you can get all the amazing notifications coming your way. Also, if you found this video helpful, do not forget to hit the like button. And I'm going to see you next time with another interesting video.